This is a basic tutorial on how to model in 3D. So we're using a free program called Blender. There's lots of programs out there, um, but we're going to model a simple object just to uh, learn some of the tools and make something look realistic. We are going to model a glass cup for this. So first thing you need to do is go to, uh, on Canvas, you need to download the glass cup start file it's a blender file, dot blend. So you download that and open it and it should look something like this. Um, we don't have anything here except this grid and that's just kind of to show us where we are and give us some proportions, um, something to look at. So um, in relation to our object anyway. So we, we need to add an object. So I'll go through and try and go slow enough. If uh, you can't keep up, just pause and rewind and, and do what you need to. So go to this menu down here, and we're going to go to Add. Click Add. We're going to add a mesh. And these are our simple objects. We're going to bring in a cylinder. So you bring in a cylinder. Looks like this. Now we can do a few things to change the view. If you, on your mouse, uh, use the scroll wheel to scroll up and down. If you go up, use the wheel, go up, it zooms in. OK, it zooms in on it and uh, zooms in and out. So you can zoom in and out on it using the scroll wheel. If you click the scroll wheel, maybe you didn't know it was a button, but it's a button. If you click the scroll wheel and hold it and move the mouse, then it pans around the view. So scrolling in and out, clicking on the button and dragging it, clicking and hold and drag it around, and that pans the view. So we'll use those views quite a bit, scrolling and panning. Okay. Um, now we've got the cylinder. We need to bring it up a little bit above the mesh. So bring it up so it's not touching the mesh anymore. It's a little bit above it, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, that's where we're going to model it. <clears throat> now if you hold down shift on the keyboard and the middle mouse click, you can move the view around even more. So every once in a while I'll do that just to get it in a better place. So holding down shift, middle mouse click moves it around that way too. All right, so I've got this cylinder in front of me. Now to edit this object, so we've, we've pulled in this object and we're in object mode. To edit it, we need to go to edit mode. So if I click this, it goes to edit mode or the tab key on the keyboard. We do this quite often, go into edit mode and back out to object mode um, lots, many times. So the tab key, I kind of keep my hand up there on the tab key on the keyboard to go in and out. So make sure you are in edit mode. And it looks like this, we have all these different faces on this object. These are called polygons. And so we can manipulate these and change them around and that's how we model different objects. Now there's different ways, a few different ways to select these objects. Um, first of all, A on the keyboard deselects everything or selects it, toggles on and off, A on the keyboard. So deselect, A select, uh, sorry, deselect or select. So, so hit A until everything is deselected. And then these are the different ways that we can select. We can select the faces, individual faces. We can select edges. And we can select vertices, individual points. So let's get face select first of all. We'll use a few of these in different situations. And right click is how we select things. So right click on the top face of this cylinder. And it selects it, makes it, uh, gives it a yellow border, fills it in a little bit. Now. Um, a cup is a little bit taller than that, so we need to get the right proportions. So zoom out a little bit and grab this uh, blue arrow. Click and drag that blue arrow until it's about the proportion of a cup. Might be a little too tall. Um, and a cup is usually not perfectly up and down, straight up and down, so we're going to make the top a little wider or a little bigger. So we're going to scale it. So S on the keyboard gives me the scale tool. Just type it once, S. And then you can move your mouse in and out to change the size of that face that we have selected. So I'm going to move it out a little bit because cups are usually bigger on top than they are on bottom. And that's pretty good right there. You can do it again, S and then click, or Control Z if you did something you didn't mean to. Okay, Control Z is undo, and you can do as many as you need to do up to a certain point. All right, so I've got this cup. It's looking a little better now. In fact, I can probably do a test render to see what it looks like now. Um, so let's go back out to object mode. So tab out to object mode. And this is what my object looks like, somewhat like a cup, I guess. And let's uh, see what it looks like rendered, meaning make a picture out of it. So if you come up to this menu right here, I want to show you one other thing. I've, I've added some things already, pre-planning, and uh, that will help us. So this ground plane right here, 
click the little eyeball right there and that shows it, that toggles it, toggles it off and on. So I want it on now so that I can zoom out a little bit and stick the cup. Actually, I'll stay zoomed in. I want to stick the cup right on that plane so it's like a surface. So I'm just going to see this goes down into it. I'm going to pull it up so that I can see the, the whole cup above the surface. Now, let me do a test render and we'll see what it looks like. Um, F12 on the keyboard is one button. It's at the very top, on the very top row. F12 renders it. Let me show you what that does. So it renders it, kind of takes a picture of it. And it looks about the same as what I saw in my, my modeling view. And it looks somewhat like a cup, but not really. So let's add some stuff to it. So I'm going to hit escape to get out of the render view. So escape on the keyboard, top left button. Um, all right, let's uh, make it look good here. So let's go back into edit mode, tab key, and select the top um, face. If you haven't already, make sure you're in face select and right click on it to select it. And we're going to delete that because the cup is hollow, doesn't have a top on the, uh, on the top of the cup. So if it's selected, hit the delete key, not backspace, but delete. And there's a lot of things that we can delete. Let's just delete the face of it. So now it's hollow. It looks a little bit more like a cup. We could try rendering it again, but it'll look about the same. Um, okay, now that it's hollow, we need to give this some depth. Okay, 3D is part shading and shadows and things, but also depth. We need to give it some depth. So if I select everything, A on the keyboard to select all of it, I'm going to extrude the sides, we call it. So I'm going to extrude every face on there and make it thicker. So E on the keyboard extrudes. So hit E and it does something weird. It grabs all the faces and makes new ones and I'm extruding. But we don't want it to extrude up and down so I'm going to scale it also. So S after I don't click anything yet. So S on the keyboard will scale it. So now I can scale it bigger or smaller. I'm going to make it bigger than the previous cup to give it some depth. And just kind of guess because you can adjust it later. Um, then pull it down with the arrow key so the top is flat. So now it's got some depth to it. And if you need to adjust it, scale again, click and bring it down. That's probably a little too big. I'm going to undo that. Control Z, Control Z. Okay. Now it's obviously got some depth, but it went below the surface. And so I'm going to move it back up. But before I do, I need to select everything. In fact, I'll go out to object mode. If I want to move the whole thing, I use object mode. So tab out to object mode and move it just above the plane again. Okay, let's do another test render, F12. It looks a little bit better now because it's got some depth to it. Yeah, much better. All right, we're not done. We're going to do some awesome things now. We're going to smooth it out, which is nice. And then we're going to actually make it glass, which is really cool. So hit escape to go back. 